Hey, Red Wing fans, how are you doing? Uh, it's been a little while since I've uh, posted these. I, I actually did a shorter version of it, but I thought I'd talk a little more about it. So, what we have here is the 8101, and it is the Abilene Slate Blue Mock uh, Oxford. Oxford or Derby, I don't know how we, I never called it a Derby when I was uh, growing up here in the States, but uh, I guess apparently some of these guys say that Derby is the correct term. But uh, to me, they're just uh, Oxfords. Oxford just means low cut, you know, shoes, I guess. So they're cool. These are, uh, the last time I saw, these were um, a Singapore uh, issue. At least it was on their Singapore website. And uh, I was lucky enough to pick these up off of eBay. And these are factory seconds. And they were previously owned, so I got them for a pretty good deal, I thought. And uh, I guess the thing cool about it is that uh, they don't make it to the United States too easily. Probably uh, if you can find them on eBay, of course, or uh, offer up or any of those places, grailed. Or um, I guess sometimes, I guess they do have these, um, I don't know if they're factory seconds or uh, what do they call those, um, overstocks. And they have them sometimes at the at the main factory in uh, Red Wing, Minnesota. But I've also seen them at um, no, I don't, actually I haven't seen these ones, but I've seen you know uh, seconds and stuff over at uh, uh, like Sierra Trading Post, Nordstrom Rack, those kind of places. But anyway, these are cool. I like it. They have nickel eyelets. They are uh, the cool, of course, Abilene leather. It's not. It's the rough out. It's um, yeah, pretty rare. And the, these are the little brothers of the 8143. So the 8143 is the, the mock toe, six inch boot mock toe. And then I just picked up a pair of 8144s, which is the round toe, same color, same uh, uh, rough out leather. <coughs> so, uh, and of course, um, if you are uh, familiar with these Oxfords, um, all of the the mock toe Oxfords, they come with a nice uh, Norwegian welt. I think it's called Norwegian. I'm not sure. Is it Norwegian or is it the Storm? I think it's Norwegian. And if you take a look at it, it's the kind of like double stitched. It has the um, kind of like a double layer. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But you can see it's different than the just a regular um, Goodyear welt. And that's pretty interesting that the, all of them have it. Uh, I don't see them. I guess I also see it on the 1907s. And what's the other one? It's uh, 8884, I think? 8883? 88, which is, I think, the concrete, um, concrete rough and tough. So anyway, yeah, these are cool. They got uh, nickel eyelets. Um, I don't wear Oxfords too often, but occasionally, you know, maybe uh, just for the color. Um, if I don't, I don't, I obviously don't have any eight inch They'll, they don't even make 8-inch eight eight inch boots like these. Oh, man, if they did, oh, you better believe they will sell out in less than, like, 24 hours. I mean, they would sell so fast. People would be snagging them up. But, you know, Red Wing needs to listen. And if they had an 8-inch round toe, oh, same thing, man. They would go off the shelves so fast. Um, at least I would buy a whole mess of them. <laughs> I would hoard them, resell them. Yeah, flip them. So um, if you notice, um, I don't really use um, the leather laces. I don't like them. I like these regular, the Taslan. I mean, they just, they last forever. I have never broken one. I have an old pair of 877s from maybe the mid 80s or something like that. And they are, they are still thick. They're a little bit, uh, you know, uh, floppy, I guess you could say. Not, not, not super floppy, but they're, yeah. They're, I've never seen a pair of broken ones. But I do see that there's a bunch of uh, people <laughs> complaining about the leather ones. The leather laces, oh my gosh, the ones that Red, Red, Wings provi Pro Red Wing provides, they are always getting broken. And some of those guys are telling me they get them broken in the store while they're lacing it up or they're walking around in the store. Or they take them home and a couple days later they're busted. So anyway, 8101, these are really, really rare. I hardly even see them come up even on eBay. So they must have been a really limited run in Asia, I think. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So I thought I'd do a little bit more extensive close-up. Yep, these are cool. So thanks for watching, and uh, 
Make comments if you want. See ya.